Hey everybody, it's Joe and I'm at CES 2024 where they've got these really weird looking chairs. They look 3D printed, but they're not. They're Jenkins! Hey everybody, it's Joe at CES 2024 and I am at the Creality booth where they are showing off some new and amazing technology, not just 3D printing, but some things that I'm really excited to show you about. And I'm here with my friend Duke, who's ready to answer any questions that I have to help me out with this. So Duke, what's Creality showing this year? What people have been waiting for are these two machines right here. So we've got the Ender 3 V3. V3 on the, the Ender 3. V3. So this is the fully upgraded, fully redesigned new face of Creality. I, I'm noticing that the Ender 3 V3 has a core YZ movement system, which is, it's who would have thought of that? Oh, it's XZ, it's that's right, yeah. We're using the uh, linear bearings, we're no longer using the palm wheels, and it has that new motion system. Not only that, but it features the K1 extruder. And it's moving really fast. And it's moving really fast. This isn't even the fastest that it can go. What's the ultimate price point on this machine going to be? We are looking at around three ninety nine. dollars Okay, that's a good starting yeah, price for it. I also noticed that over here, we've got the K1C. What does C stand for? C stands for many things, but basically C stands for a welcome change to many features that consumers were looking for. So with the K1C, we're looking at having integrated camera instead of being able to or asking you to install the camera yourself it comes with the camera and not only that but c also stands for the carbon filter that's included in the back now the the k1 max yes did also come with a camera yes it does but i noticed that this one has a completely different build plate it does have a completely different build plate so there are a few tweaks to the k1c that are just going to blow this machine out of the water. This is going to be the flagship for 2024. This is going to be the machine that changes everything. Well, I'll tell you what, I was super impressed with the K1. I'm looking for the K1C. Any chance of a K1 Max in the future? <laughs> I have to stay tight-lipped on that, but I'm going to yeah. tell you and our consumers to really keep your eyes peeled because we've got some game-changing stuff coming up, especially during our uh, Creality anniversary. 10 years strong, Creality will be celebrating on April 9th. All right. So, now I saw this here at the booth, and this is a, la has Creality done laser cutters before? We have actually been doing laser cutters for a little while now. We're not, I'm not gonna say we're veterans, but this is our first professional iteration version of our Creality Laser Falcon 2. Okay. So this here comes in two standard wattages. We're looking at a 22 and a 40 watt. But the most exciting thing about this is this uses our spot focus poly lens technology to be as powerful as a 40 watt standard laser cutter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll bet it cuts through wood like butter. And I'm impressed, first of all, that it comes with an enclosure. Yes. I just got done testing a couple of open frame laser cutters, and the first thing I did when I was done was bought an enclosure for the one of them. <laughs> and you guys are starting off, that's fantastic. You also have this air filtration system, which I love, but one thing that really impresses me is how almost silent this thing is. Now it's noisy here, yep. but this is really quiet compared to the other lasers that I'm used to. This is impressive. So that's the fantastic thing about this technology, especially using the diode technology that we've got implemented in the laser cutter head. Yeah. That means that- Well, it's, it's all fans. It's, it's all fans, yeah. right? So it's all standard parts that our consumers know and love on our 3D printers. It's just redesigned in such an efficient way where we can get it working with our laser cutters with the air assist. By the way, it comes with an air assist, which is fully running right now. Yeah. And you can barely hear it. No, yeah, it's amazing. Into all this all-in-one efficient package. And the size, the box of this machine is no bigger than, say, a CR10 Smart Pro. It really isn't. It's super compact. Yes. And lastly, Creality has... I, I haven't seen the ferret scanner. I saw the lizard scanner, yep. but this looks much smaller, much better in a lot of ways, but it looks like you've got a pro? So we've gone from reptile to rodent here. So we've <laughs> got the ferret scanner and we've just newly introduced the ferret pro. So this one here comes with a Wi-Fi bridge. 
that means full wow. wireless accessibility. So you can actually wirelessly scan somebody. No more tripping over the wire as you're going around Absolutely somebody. Absolutely not. No more rat's nests here. Oh, I love that. That's fantastic. <laughs> so, you know, we're super excited about this technology, but I think we're a little bit more excited to see if we can get a scan of a world famous YouTuber. I know one that you guys could scan. Let's really? do this. All right, let's do this. <laughs> Now, while Joy from Creality is scanning me here, and while she does pay attention to how quickly she's able to do this, she is just whipping around me all swiftly. It's kind of amazing. But while she's doing this, there were a few other things that I saw at the Creality booth that Duke and I didn't talk about, but I want to tell you about. First of all, they have a new Hallet 3D printer. That's their resin line of 3D printers. And yes, I still have the old Hallet, but I don't actually use it very much. I wonder if an upgrade is in order for that one. Also, they have a new 3D printer that they're calling the D2. This has two heads on it, and these two heads are mounted on the same carriage. So it's not IDEX, but... These two heads do get out of the way of each other whenever they change materials. Now, you might think, well, what is this one for? I mean, is it good for dual color? If we can do more than two colors, why would we care? It's not about two colors. It's about two materials. And I'm hoping that they can dial in things, even as simple as using PETG and PLA in the same print and using one of them for supports and one of them for the prints, because this would be in industrial level 3d printing 10 years ago but now we're seeing it in a prosumer level 3d printer so that's that's super exciting i think that there's a lot of possibilities for the d2 and i'm super excited by it so so that was creality's booth at ces and i gotta say i, I really am impressed with how creality is adjusting to the new meta in 3d printing they are taking this brave new world of 3d printing and just kind of rolling with it doing an amazing job their their offerings are fantastic and i'm looking forward everything that they're putting out so good job reality i don't know he's doing pretty good